May I be the first to welcome everybody to this new series on my channel, Fly Away. If you are one of those West Ham fans who is travelling to another country to watch the team play in the Europa League, this is your travel guide, effectively. I'm going to be talking about where the team plays in terms of the country, what you can do there for sightseeing, how to get to the stadium, and some things about the culture and the local laws that you will need to know before you travel. So get your passports ready and let's get right into this video. So West Ham are starting the Europa League journey this week when the team travels to Zagreb to face Dinamo Zagreb. If you're going to the game, excellent, great. I'm kind of jealous of you because that's what I wanted to do. I've got quite a bit of cash saved up and I wanted to put that towards going to watch West Ham play in Europe but because of um, some COVID-19 measures here in Canada I most likely cannot go which is a bit of a pity really because uh, that's one thing I wanted to do see West Ham abroad but anyway if you're going great I'm jealous of you but I hope you have an amazing time Let's go on to the video. Um, Zagreb is the destination and it's a very popular tourist spot. Around 250,000 British tourists go here every year and go to Croatia because of its stunning coastline and beautiful scenery. And if you're going to the game and if you're going to Zagreb, you may as well take some time to have a look around the place. So that's why I made these travel guides, so that you know what to expect when you get there and so that you know what to do. Well, Zagreb is the capital of Croatia, and it consists of 17 districts and has a population of over 1.15 million people. It's the country's largest city. It's best known for its red roof buildings, Gothic churches, gardens, and huge architectural structures. This section is similar to the ones to watch section on Opposition Uncovered, because I'm going to be picking three things three tourist attractions in Zagreb. First up is Ban Jelicic Square, which is located in the heart of downtown Zagreb. This is the cultural hotspot in the city. It's got numerous street performers, colourful buildings, restaurants, cafes, boutique stores, and a decent nightlife. Visitors spend many hours in this place and see what it has to offer, so it's a really nice place to go. It's clean and safe as well. The art pavilion in Zagreb is a huge yellow building and it's close to the main train station. It's an art gallery that's been in existence for many years and it's the oldest in southeast Europe. Uh, several Croatian artists support the gallery and try to get their work displayed in there. There are about 700 exhibitions in total so you can explore all the art and science of that place. And the Miragoy City Cemetery is another place which is quite important in Croatia. Many famous Croats are buried there, and people of different religious and ethnic minorities are buried in the cemetery grounds as well. Maximir Stadium has been around since 1948. It used to be able to hold 35,000 fans, but the earthquake means that it now accommodates 25,000 fans. The East Stand is closed because it's undergoing repairs. It's similar to the London Stadium in the sense that it does host concerts and athletics. So, a uh, bit of a similarity there for you. Uh, if you want to get there and want to know how to get there, well, the tram network in Zagreb is your best option. Um, the Savski Most Dubek and Thronomarek Dubek lines of the tram are both running to the station. They're the colour brown. The Savski Most Dubek line is number four, and the Kromnarek Dubek line is number 11, 10, 1. There. They are within walking distance of the stage station, as well, stadium rather, sorry. Um, and the stations where you want to be getting off at are Hondlovo or Ravnici. They're within very short walking distance, it is not far. Either of those is fine. Either of those lines is fine, but it's just basically the colour brown, Hondlovla, Ravinci. Sorry, I mean, some of these words are tongue twisters, and I'm getting them a little bit wrong, but um, I do apologise. But yeah, it, public transit is your best way to get to this game, and it's a popular choice on a game day. 
I put this section in the video because you need to know a little bit about the local customs and the laws. As you know, being a British citizen and having a British passport don't give you special preferential treatment. You have to follow the law of the land. Most of you do that anyway when you go abroad, and if you're a West Ham fan and even a football fan who does that, fair play to you. I will stress one thing, leave the stadium safely. Croatian football fans can be quite hostile and volatile during games. The atmosphere can be quite aggressive, uh, and particularly towards foreign supporters. There have been incidents where travelling fans have been attacked by Croatian fans. The legal age to buy alcohol in Croatia is 18, but there's no minimum age to actually consume it. Um, and also, as I look at my notes here on my left, I need to point out something else. The legal alcohol limit for fans to attend a game in Croatia is 0 0.5 units. That's roughly the same amount as one standard UK pint of lager. My advice is not to drink alcohol before the game because random breathalyzer tests are conducted in the stadium. If you're over the limit, you're going to be ejected from the stadium and face charges. And finally, don't mention the war, don't discuss politics, and don't discuss past events. A lot of Croatians aren't comfortable discussing the War of Independence. They're not even comfortable discussing World War II. It's a very sensitive subject, and a lot of Croatians uh, have been affected by that. Thank you very much for watching the first ever episode of Fly Away. I hope you found it interesting. That's my guide to Zagreb. If you liked the video, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. For those who are flying, Take care, have a very safe flight, stay safe at the game, and I hope to see you all soon.